Hey, what's up, guys? Filterless here. So if you're in auto control mode, as we're seeing right here, or you're in gamepad mode, it should be exactly the same, right? However, what I found is it is not the same. So here we are in auto and I'm going to go ahead and just pull the trigger and you'll see we barely press it. We're getting 100% throttle. So even if we shift gears, that's 100%. We still have all this range. And then switching over to gamepad mode. Now you see when we pull the trigger, it's registering the full 100%. So when we do this, we're not getting that 100% throttle like we were before. And just to show you again, if we go back to auto, now it's registering immediately and that's 100% throttle. So I don't know about y'all, but whenever I was using auto mode and I would go to gamepad, I thought it was the same. The only difference was it was locking it to gamepad controls. I didn't realize that this is actually switching the profiles. So let's go ahead and jump into Armory Crate and I'll show y'all. All right, so here in Armory Crate, under Dirt Rally, if we go into the game profile, you'll see under the right trigger, I've set this 10% throttle at 100, basically. So if we pull 10%, we're getting that full 100% throttle. However, if we back out of Dirt Rally and we go to settings up here into control mode and configure this, you'll see I have the trigger set at 100. And so if we come back over to Dirt Rally, you will see in here when we are in gamepad mode, it's using the global preset, basically overriding the game profile. It's not using it. So whenever we pull the trigger, we're getting that normal range that we have set. Whatever values we have set in gamepad will work across the board all games, no matter what you've set per profile, as you can see. But then as soon as we go to auto mode, it is actually switching to the game profile where we have that 10% set. Look at this, instant 100% throttle. So to me, this naming is a bit confusing. I myself actually thought auto mode and gamepad mode were basically the same. It was just locking those controls. The other thing that's interesting is even if you delete, you reset everything to defaults and you delete this profile out of here, even after restarting the computer, it will save the settings you had in there when you're in auto mode. So even though the profile is completely gone, if you're in auto, it's actually going to still pull that file from somewhere. However, if you switch to gamepad, as we saw, that's basically, from what I can tell, a global override. And we'll use whatever you've set in this control mode and then gamepad mode. So it should use whatever's in here, regardless when you're in gamepad mode. And so I do have a video coming out that's going to be the third video on calibration because of this weird finding to hopefully once and for all be able to set your triggers, which the only reason we're even having to calibrate these is because Asus put bad triggers in here. These are 10% dead zone across the board on both of these. And then on my other unit, it was a 15% on the right and almost none on the left. We shouldn't even be having to do this type of calibration. However, the video I have coming out should be a great solution across the board. Even if you disable the ACES services and you're using a program called G Helper, it still works for my testing, but I'm doing a little more testing before I put that video out. And I'll have an awesome guide for y'all to be able to calibrate these once and for all and have it actually work properly. Anyway, I hope this video provides some value for y'all and cleared up some of that confusion going between gamepad and auto mode. If it did, make sure to hit the like, hit the sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.